Hi everyone, welcome to a new video in chapter 5. In this chapter, we will talk about overview and intent for sustainable sites, sustainable sites design and construction concepts, sustainable sites operations and maintenance, heat island effect, rainwater management, light pollution reduction. In the first video, we will talk about overview and intent. Sustainable sites, overview and intent. Chapter 5, lecture 1. Before we go through the slides, I want you to think about it. What are the lead credit category sustainable sites talking about? Can you mention the strategies and concepts behind it? Pause the video and think about it before moving to the next slide. Sustainable sites overview. The relationship between the project and the surrounding environment is usually named sustainable sites. Sustainable sites are a credit category that focuses on how the project building interacts with ecosystems surrounding built environment and site elements. Projects should start with site analysis and assessment to understand the possible and applicable strategies that can be used on site. The project team can then find synergies between the current situation of the site and the proposed strategies to make the, po the best possible benefit. Sustainable Sites Intent Analyze the relationship between site and proposed facility. Restore project site natural elements. Preserve biodiversity. Integrate the site with local and regional ecosystem. Concepts and Strategies the Sustainable Sites category uses a set of design strategies that promote the triple bottom line that are addressed through the following topics. Sustainable Sites Design and Construction Sustainable Sites Operations and Maintenance Heat Island Effect Rainwater Management Light Pollution Reduction In the next lecture, we will talk about sustainable site design and construction concepts, site assessment, site design, landscaping, maximize open space, minimize construction activity pollution, restore and conserve sensitive areas, brownfield and infield development, environmental site assessment. Thank you for listening and see you in the next video.